Hello guys and welcome back and welcome back to what I'm going to call part 2 of the video I made about 6 months ago regarding reconfiguring your Bafang mid-drive kit using a serial cable that I think I suggested you buy from Lunacycle but you can get them from eBay or wherever in fact I'll probably I'll, I'll post some links where you can get all this stuff down below but Basically that video was showing you how to connect the serial port adapter, which is what this is, and install the software and get it all up and running. So I showed you all that in the last video, so I'm not going to go through that again. What I'm going to show you this time is something a lot more exciting, because you no longer need a laptop to do this. All you need is one of these. An Android phone. I don't think this works on Apple yet, but perhaps it might in the future. I guess it depends on how well it goes on Android. But Android phone doesn't even have to be that new. This one's about four years old. An Android phone, a cable called an OTG cable. Not sure what that stands for, but two pounds, three pounds, something like that off eBay. Uh, you need that, yeah, plug that in, and then all you need to do is take the cable out of there and plug it into here. <laughs> yeah, not, as, <laughs> not easy with one hand. And once you've done that, Turn on your phone, go to, I'm trying to get so you can see this, go to uh, Google Play, Play Store, and install the Speed, S-P-E-E-D, Bafang Configuration Tool. Now that's a free app, just download the app, install it, click on Open. That's my, my laptop telling me stuff. Click on open and then click one second until I solve that problem. Right, so once you've got the app installed, you're good to go. Uh, you probably have to connect. I had already connected, so I'll disconnect. And this is the home page that you come to, and then click on connect. It'll ask you, do you want to use, by default, for this USB device? Select, select OK. Yeah. And you're in. And what this is doing now is it's just connected and it has read all the details of my Bafang BBS. I think it's a BBS01 kit. To be honest, I'm not even 100% sure what it is. I bought it cheap from China. And it's always just worked, but I've never really been 100% sure what it was. Anyway, once you get your, uh, your phone connected, you're then good to go. Now I'll put you up on a stand and I'll take you through all the different settings. Okay, we're back. So, what you've got, when, once you've got connected, down the bottom you've got four options, display, settings and help. I thoroughly recommend you read the help. And I thoroughly recommend you read that help before you actually start making any changes. Because there's a lot of the things in this which if you make three or four changes all at the same time, save them and then go to ride your bike and it doesn't work. Uh, it can be very confusing trying to figure out why it's not working. So I thoroughly recommend that you go into that help and read everything before you start. The other thing it has is a display. So it will show you the speed, the watch you're using, and it will allow you to change the level assist, the assist levels. Uh, it allows you to change those assist levels on the fly, which is pretty good. So basically, if you want to, 
you can do away with the ordinary display and just use your phone. Put it into a satchel like that and you're good to go. As you can see, my, it gives you the battery level. In my case, the battery is quite low. It's down to 35 volts, so I need to uh, recharge this. Um, so it gives you the battery level. That's of the the e-bike, not, not the battery level of your phone. Um, it lets you change the assist levels. And then it lets you go in and change the assist levels. So if you want to change them, what you must do, these are the diff all the, the three different uh, settings that you can change. In each tab, you're, you're either going to have to <laughs> read each tab individually. So in other words, you go to the levels and then read, and then you can make your changes and then write, pedal, read, make the changes, and then write. Um, Oh, sorry, just came out of it then. Uh, go to throttle, read, make the changes, and then write. You can do all that, or you can do it from the home, home screen. Click read all. That will read all of the settings for each of those three different uh, tabs. So when you go into settings, you make all your changes. So you go to pedal, change, throttle, change, whatever. Go back to home and then click write all and that will write all of the changes you've made in each of those different um, different tabs so I'll go through a few of the settings that I have um, levels, assist levels it's entirely up to you how you set your assist levels I have mine set so that uh, if you're confused about why uh, level 0 is set to 20% and 66% for, for whatever reason, sometimes if I'm riding along in say level 1 or 2 or 3 and I hit the throttle, it doesn't go. It doesn't actually push me forward until I stop pedaling and then it'll push me forward. It, it will then override the pedal assist. Um, if, I set, if I set these numbers higher, I think it helps. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, the uh, you can see I have the speed for each of these levels set 10%, 20, 30, right up to 60, 70, and right up to 100. The reason I have them set like that is because I want to be able to use this off-road and I want to be able to get um, low speed uh, but get assistance going up hills and so on. But at a low speed that I can control. So that's why I have those set low. I will probably change those again. I guarantee you that I'll not keep it like that. Um, when it's as easy as this to make your changes, you don't have to have a laptop with you. It just makes life so much more simple. So those, those will probably be changed at some stage, but for now that's the way I have them. Go to the pedal assist page. Um, all these different things I think I changed the start current. I lowered it because I didn't like it being too big a kick uh, when I started pedaling. Um, a couple of other things I think I may have changed slightly. The current decay I think I changed. Stop delay I think I changed. I think that movie was 400 milliseconds before. I can't remember now to be honest. But anyway, all these settings you can change them if you wish. Throttle. The default throttle is by displays command for both current and uh, designated assist level is by displays command. That what kicked off this whole thing to be honest. It was I didn't like the fact that the throttle would not go any faster than the speed that it was set by the display. I wanted the throttle to be give me full speed if I wanted full speed. So that's that was the reason for getting this whole thing going. It was the reason for getting the cable for the, um, the laptop and now I've got the, the app.
so it's even better. But it was to override that one setting. Um, lots of reasons. If you're pulling out at a junction and you want to go quickly, there's not a whole lot of point in having a throttle that only brings you up to 10 miles per hour. So that's or 5 miles per hour or whatever it is. So that was the reason why I got this. That's the one thing that you will probably want to change. Um, anyway, speed limit is showing as 40 kilometers per hour is, as far as I can tell, nonsense. The speed limit is not 40 kilometers per hour. The speed limit is whatever the gearing of your bike will take you to. The reason I say that is because my understanding of the speed limit, and actually if we go back to the assist levels, it shows here as being speed in percentage or in kilometers per hour. My understanding of this setup is that that is complete nonsense. And the reason I say that is because the speed that that is showing is in reality just the speed that it spins the motor. And since the motor is attached to a chain ring and the chain ring is attached to gears at the back of your bike it's really down to the uh, gearing of your bike as to what speed you're going to be going and in my case with the chain ring that I've got on it will definitely do more than 40 kilometers per hour definitely there's no question about that and trying to figure there must be a general and you're bound to be able to set that to miles per hour uh, can I set that to miles per hour speed unit there we go sorry I couldn't see if we're looking at it now we're miles per hour go back to levels yeah I was doing 30 miles per hour on this bike half an hour ago using the throttle so that is definitely not correct it's the speed that's being shown as far as I can tell anyway the speed that's being shown you're far better keeping that to percentage because really it's the percentage of the speed of the chain ring is what uh, is what you're getting there so you got 20% of full speed for the chain ring or 100% of full speed for the chain ring and if you have a smaller chain ring, sorry, if you have a bigger chain ring and a smaller rear um, cog on your bike, you'll go faster. Anyway, that's kind of all I needed to say. Uh, there's lots and lots of things for you to play with here. But the nice thing about it is if you want to play with it when you're out miles from home, you don't need to have a laptop with you. Just use your, your phone. Anyway, hopefully that's been useful to you. If it's been of help, please click on the like button, subscribe and share with your friends. And if you're interested in buying one of these cables, just click in the, uh, in the comments below and there's a whole list of different uh, things that, to do with e-bikes and so on that you can click into. Uh, those are affiliate links, by the way, so if you do click on those links, they will take you to eBay or Amazon or whatever. And if you make a purchase, I will receive a couple of pounds, a couple of pence, whatever it is, uh, commission on it. But you don't have to pay anymore. It just is a way of supporting the channel. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.